the scenes that you know Jen talks about, which Nicola talks about, is they're one takes. They're like there's no intercuts. For me to sit and meet you for the first time and talk, there's gaps. You know, there's sometimes we might not get along. We might get along. You know, and to have a rhythm in those in those takes, it's very hard to have that. And everything has to be on point. You know, you have to. There's there's no intercutting. So everything that you're seeing is so real. About two, maybe two and a half years ago, um, I got an opportunity to produce something at HBO, and it kind of gave me uh, the confidence to to kind of want to go and produce more things. And I'd always thought about uh, Backroads as a as a film. I thought it was a very important piece of material and something that I loved. So I reapproached the producer that had the rights and. Um, and I said I would love to be a part of this uh, to produce. And uh, I went out to directors, two two directors, two very good directors, and which who both said yes. And but through unfortunate events, couldn't couldn't make the film. So out of uh, circumstance, I I ended up in the director's chair, which I feel very lucky about. Yeah, I play Callie Mercer, who's a neighbor who lives down the street from where the whole family is living. Um, Alex's character is looking after his three sisters because his mother's in jail, his father's dead. Um, and it's it's set in a small town, so it sort of feels like everyone knows each other. My character is very aware of him and his situation, and she definitely um, feels like if she can help in some way, she wants to. She's also living in a bit of her own repression and in a way is not necessarily happy with the life that she's chosen. And um, the connection that she feels with Alex's character turns into this kind of toward affair that they're having, um, which is complicated because I think that there's real feelings there. There's also some kind of like fantasy being played out in her mind of the life that she doesn't have and kind of wished she could have. I play Amber, uh, Alex's or Harley's little sister. Amber is a very external character. Like you see her and you think she's very loud. She's loud and, um, bitchy and all this stuff but the reason I really love playing her is because she has so much going on internally and she's really just hurt and she had a really to say the least hard upbringing and a damaged upbringing and you can see how that affects a person and it's almost like when something happens to you at a young age it's like it stunts her so in some ways she's so immature we had so many scenes that I really enjoyed doing um I feel like there was something really magical about the scene in the grocery store parking lot. Um, there's just something nice about all the things that are going on. It's like she's being such a natural mom with her kids and like, oh, don't have buddy, stop it. Uh, you know, like kind of torn between that and everything that had just happened the night before that's so unspoken between them and the conversation secretly outside the car while the kids are, you know, in the car and, and what they're talking about and um, – I don't know. It was just, there was something really kind of subtle and simple about it, but there was so much stewing under the surface of it. It was a really fun scene to, to play around with. Do you have your earmuffs? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Alex is great. I mean, I, but the reason I was so drawn to the film was from the conversation that we had um, about the film and his visual plan and, and his passion for it and how he saw the film. And he, um, He's like Savanti talented. He really is. And in, in multiple things, it's not just filmmaking. It's like, he's like also an artist and I don't, it's just anything. He's like, oh, yeah, no, sure. Yeah, I just painted that thing. And you're like, what? And he has an incredible um, way with actors, I think, because he is an actor. He knows exactly how to present an idea without it feeling like it's in your way. It was always adding to what was going on. So it was, it was great. You don't have to boost my ego. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> Alex was an amazing director to work with. He did trust me in a, in a in a way where it felt amazing as an actor to feel like you could be on a set and take risks and just give it your all and and just like they said just leave everything out there and when you're on a, a bigger film sometimes you don't get the privilege to do things like that. So that was amazing. Stepping into the role of being a filmmaker and having a different perspective is is that it's a collaborative experience and everyone's putting their their heart into into the film, you know? And um, working with people, you know, like the grips, the sounds, the, the pro production design, the actors, everyone's so invested in, in, in to putting their, their their take and their touch. And it's it's a humbling experience because you really realize that to make a film it's a it's a collaboration, it's a family. It's everyone putting their 
themselves into it. And so that was a very humbling experience. I really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm.